This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6, and it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24, and verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashem, Makakadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akia Ma'akwaf, and I say Shalom. In the heavenly Father, the true name is uh, Yahweh, and his only begotten Son, Ba'ashem, and the name Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the whole tongue, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson of this uh, recent news article from the Jerusalem Post.com by Reuters, published April the 23rd, 2024, and last updated April 23rd, 2024. And it reads uh, Hamas arm wing calls for escalations across all fronts. Abdul Ab Abidah, if I pronounce his name right, called for an escalation in the West Bank, Jordan, and calling. It one of the most important Arab fronts. The spokesperson of Hamas, Arm Al Qasam, Rajit Abdul Yubda, called on Tuesday for an escalation across all fronts in a televised speech marking the 200 days since the start of the Hamas, I mean Israel Hamas war in the Gaza Strip on October 7th. It says Israel say it is seeking to eradicate Hamas, which controls the enclave, enclave. The war started when the groups attacked Israel, killing 1,200 and taking 253 hostages. It says in a video by Al Jazeera TV, Abdul Yubalda praised the Iranian attack on Israel on April the 13th, saying that saying the direct strikes with explosives and drones set a new rules. It says draw important equations and confuse the enemy and those behind it. Calls for Jordan to join the conflict. It says he also called for an escalation in the West Bank and Jordan, calling it one of the most important Arab fronts. Jordan, which lies between Iran and Israel, is intercepting and shot down drones of Iranian drones that enter its airspace and were heading to Israel, two regional security sources say on April the 13th. We call on the Jordanian people to step up their actions and raise their voices, Abdul said. It says uh, he said also was sticking to its demands at the ongoing ceasefire talks that Israel and its military offense pull out forces from Gaza, allowing the dispatch to return to northern Gaza and lift the blockage. The government of the occupation stalling is re reaching a hostage swipe deal and trying to obscure efforts by meditators to reach a ceasefire agreement, Abdul said. Qatar in Egypt has been trying to meditate a ceasefire, but Qatar Foreign Minister spokesperson said early on Tuesday, all concerns parties should seriously in allowing efforts to succeed. And this is the book of uh, Matthew 24, verse 6, where you bring it out again. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, right? That's what we hear uh, the escalations between Hamas versus the IDF and the uh, pro Iranian groups and the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps against the IDF as well, too. And the Syrian armies against the IDF as well, too. And it's heating up throughout that region over there in uh, Western Asia. What you would call the modern day term Middle East is really Western Asia. This is uh, Matthew 24, verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation. That's what we're seeing. Uh, one nation rising up against another nation and kingdom against kingdom, right? Kingdom against king, uh, kingdom against kingdom with the uh, Israel Hamas situation. Hey, that's kingdom against kingdom and nation against nation. It says there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And this is the book of Second Ezra. 
15, right, second address 15 to verse 15. It says, For the sword and the destruction draw off nine, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords and hands. Second address 15 to verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings, nor their princes, in the course of their actions to stand in their power. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying of this recent news article as the tensions between Hamas and the IDF of an increasing cross-border conflict is escalating more and more and more. It says, this is from the Jerusalem Post, as of April the 23rd, 2024, it reads, Hamas armed wing calls for escalations across all fronts. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying. With that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem HaKarkadash. In the Heavenly Father, the true name is Yahweh, and His unbegotten Son, Ba'ashem, in the name of Hamashiach HaVashai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew, the last one, Colossal the Tongue. And I say Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim Wa'akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.